Hello! Today I'm here to show you my new Winstonia plates that I just bought. Uh, I saw them a couple of places online and thought they looked pretty cool. They've got some images that I've seen before, but they have enough images that are different that I thought they would be worth investing in, and I'm, I'm glad I did. Uh, they come like all pretty much all plates these days with a nice blue um, film that you peel off that protects them from being scratched. They have paper backing on them so you don't have to worry about sharp edges and uh, you're, you're not going to cut yourself. The backing uh, comes off very, very easily. Don't have to worry about that. So I'm going to go through each of the image plates and then I will do a comparison with Conad. Finally, I will, um, down below in the links, I will leave you the link to my blog where um, I will show the individual images and you can, uh, I'll have links to other, to manicures that I've done to test out the plates. So here is Winstonia 101. And this is a, a very small little cheetah kind of print that I think is cool as opposed to just the larger ones. Um, I love this. I don't know what exactly it's supposed to be, but I think it's just a really pretty visual image with, um, you do fun things with different colors with that. I like the paws, um, and I like that you have two different sizes, depending on what you want to do with it. This is Winstonia 102. Oh, I should also mention that this is one of this, those sets that um, definitely has themes. Each plate has its own theme. Uh, so there's a general style similarity across the whole set, but each uh, plate has its own theme that it that it follows through and this one you can see is a valentine's day or a love theme so lots of different little hearts and a little um little cupid i like that this i think is very rock and roll you could do some fun stuff with that um and then the tree in there i'm not sure quite what the tree is doing there but i love the tree so i'm happy it's there even if it doesn't fit the theme this one is definitely sports so you've got some cheerleading and gymnastics soccer football fun stuff there this is 104. This is um, an Earth Day plate. We just had uh, Earth Day, so a lot of groups have done a lot of um, Earth Day manicures. And uh, I like the stamp that says Earth Day, but I really do like the different flowers and things around to capture the beauty of the planet. This is a St. Patrick's Day Easter plate, so you've got a couple of St. Patrick's images. Um, fun rainbow lips and then a couple of Easter eggs. I like that they're uh, reverse image offsetting so you can do cool things with your designing with that. This is um, a beach vacation kind of plate so bikinis and a couple of different kinds of bikinis flip-flops, drinks, sunglasses, uh, palm tree, cute, cute crab. So cute I don't even know what to do with him. So adorable. Uh, this is um, like a 4th of July holiday kind of plate. So barbecuing, a little uh, barbecue over here on its own. You can do stars and stripes for an American flag or if you um, live in a different country and you have a different flag that has stripes or stars, that's one of the cool things about it, at least having them separate so that even if you're not from the U.S., you can use those images for other things, just for a cool star background um, and a little firecracker. Uh, 108. Um, this is kind of, uh, I guess, more of an ocean plate, maybe a little. I love this mermaid. How pretty is that mermaid? Just so pretty. And then some nice shells. And this whale is so cute. I just adore him. Oh my gosh. Um, I like that there's the single peacock feather. Uh, I think you can do a lot of different things in terms of design with that. You could, you know, stick that on top of something as a decorative accent of something. You can, um, you know, position multiple ones of these over different uh, parts of your nail to do a cool uh, design. I am choosing to see this as um, drips. So a lot of people do the drip manicures where they, they, they paint the drips coming down their nails. I think this would be one cool way that you could, you know, maybe get that drip effect. And then, of course, there's a peacock, which I'm excited about. I have a peacock on another set of plates, but it never stamped right. And, um, so I ended up never ever being able to use that. So I'm excited about this one. This is plate 109. I think this is a little bit retro. You've got some old fashioned sunglasses or maybe some police officer sunglasses, cassette tape, um, Game Boy. I remember those Game Boys. Um, 
One of the things for um, for Movember Mustache um, Men's Health Awareness Month, you've got the, a couple of um, images that would work with that, and then I like that for um, stringing of shoes or corsets or any cool thing like that. Here's 110. Um, cool bamboo images. I love these, and again, I like that they're offsetting. I love that you can stamp one of these on one nail, this on a different nail to get an easy, quick kind of manicure. If you want something a little different for an accent nail, but you're not quite sure what to do. Cute mushrooms. So adorable. I love them. Um, okay, 111. I like these bold kind of, this reminds me of, I mean, I don't know, it could be anything from um, it reminds me of um, the, like the, the Beatles' Yellow Submarine, the kind of graphics that they, they would do in those. Do all kinds of fun things. Again, you have an offsetting one. Um, I love stuff like this. You can put something in the middle, or um, you could just use the image exactly like that. And I like these scribbles. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them yet, but I want to do something because I think they're pretty cool. 112, um, a kind of a brick pattern, an interlacing stone pattern. Um, but not, you know, it's not not horizontal vertical like a actual uh, brick. So I think it makes me think more of um, like a stone driveway or something. Um, I love uh, this this pattern of these interlocking things that make me think of ninja stars. Does this look like this looks like Pac-Man to me? This looks like where Pac-Man, where little Pac-Man would go through. It's like walk 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 walk. This is where Pac-Man goes. Um, okay, it doesn't look exactly like that, but it reminds me of that. I think it's pretty cool. Um, 113, Beehive. Um, that's, I love, I've seen some really pretty manicures using the, the Beehive um, images and then bees on other fingernails. It's really cool. This, um, this reminds me of uh, Magritte paintings with the pretty clouds in the background. So um, I'm looking forward to that. Um, and I can't think of the name of it, but there used to be a puzzle where you draw lines and you try to get as many boxes as you can that are yours. And uh, that reminds me of that, so that's pretty cool. And then the tree is nice. So this one is 114, and this is um, tra a travel plate with all kinds of neat things from different famous places like the Colosseum and the Leaning Tower of Pisa and, of course, the Eiffel Tower. and um, you know, U.S. and Brazil and, you know, lots of cool different ones there. Here is 115. This is like a cartoon character -y sort of one. I love this cute owl, elephant. Um, this panda I really like and the hippo. I have a friend who is obsessed with hippos. And then this kitten. How cute is your little kitty? It's so cute. I love it. All right, 116 is the Halloween plate. And, um, you know, if you've got a bunch of plates, you probably have a bunch of different ones of haunted houses and witches. Um, I like this, though, because there's a little bit different. I don't have um, the gravestone, especially the shadow, the the gravestone in the tomb. I like that this Halloween kitty is a little different. You know, got the longer legs, really cool. The bats are really deep, you know, really, there's a lot of them, and they, um, and they show some detail, which is kind of neat. Um, I love the boo. I love this scary jack-o'-lantern face. So um, even though I do have a lot of Halloween plates, because I love Halloween, I'm really glad to have this one. So, uh, 117 is it's kind of a mixed plate, so you've got some, can some candy, uh, ice cream cupcakes, and then a unicorn, which you'll see that on one of my manicures. Um, yeah, it, the, the image stamped beautifully, but I, my part in it ended up being a fail. This is one of my favorite things in the whole set, is in just the nice cool little coffee cup, because I love coffee, and I just think that this is the neatest little image. I also love the hot air balloon. Really cool. Um, here's 118. This is uh, all kinds of different fruits. So you've got citrus fruits and strawberries and watermelon and cherries and apples and bananas and whole darn fruit salad on there you can make with that. This is uh, a fall kind of Thanksgiving plate if you live in the U.S. You have, it's kind of hard to see I think, but this is a cooked turkey. Um, so this is uh, um, feathers, like eagle feathers or bird feathers, very pretty leaves. Um, and then of course is your, uh, your live turkey. 
pumpkin, um, little squirrel, so cute. So very nice. Um, uh, if you sell, if you're in a country that celebrates Thanksgiving, um, but then just regular fall images if Thanksgiving is not one of your holidays. Um, and then here is 120, which is, as you can see, Christmas themed. So um, some winter ones, snowflakes, and um, what people like to call the ugly sweater patterns. I don't think those sweaters are ugly. I think they're kind of cool. I mean, they are what they are, uh, but I don't, I don't know that I think they're ugly. I think they're, they're neat in their own special way. Um, Holly, little Christmas tree background, which is kind of cool. I love this snowman. He's just, he's, he's just, he's fun. He's happy. He's having a good day. I like him. Little candy cane and little Santa hat. Um, okay, so there you have it. There are the plates. Let's do the comparison with the Conad for size. So you can see here that the, um, the Winstonia are a little bit bigger. Um, little tiny bit wider and a little about almost exactly maybe just a teeny titch longer so about the same size as the conad and again um, taking a look at the engraving quality you can see here that the engraving quality is you know just exactly the same in terms of really detailed very nicely done with the conad plates um, I have used these for a couple of manicures now they stamp really well no problems I think that um, honestly I think that the first there are first few sets of plates when stamping plates first seem to come out that um, I think weren't that great quality but I think that's for the most part from what I've seen on plates that seems to have been fixed because it's been a long time since I found a set of plates that really had bad image quality bad um, engraving unless there was something wrong with that plate and there was a you know that particular single set um, of plates and then in those cases the companies are usually more than happy to um, to replace them but so I'm happy that the industry as a whole seems to be getting these really um, well etched and these are definitely not an exception so uh, I think that I think especially if you're starting out and you're looking for um, your first set of plates or one of your first couple of sets of plates this has a lot of good variety with a lot of different themes so it's very versatile um, and it, it it's not super cutesy it's not you know over the top elegant so it's got I think a nice broad appeal to a lot of different tastes as well so again I'm gonna have linked down below I'm gonna have my blog linked and um, on the blog post I will have still photos of all the plates and I will have uh, links to manicures that I have done using these plates so you can see how well the images stand for yourself alright thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon bye